picking up dog waste is a real pain, but I think we may have found a quick solution that makes it a much easier job for you each and every day. Howdy partner, my name is Mr. Greg, and today we are gonna show you how to install a doggy dump station. No longer are we carrying around little bags of poop. We're gonna go ahead and make an easy way to get this fixed. We'll clean that up in just a second. So we picked up this doggy dually contraption on Amazon, and I'm not affiliated with them, but we wanna check it out. So we'll show you how to install it, how it works, and if it solves the problem with Miss Kimba or Rhodesian Ridge back here. So stay tuned and check this out. It's gonna be a fun video. The first step is gonna figure out where you would like to locate your doggy dually. Now the instructions say to put it at least a few feet from the house and somewhere where you can access it to add water if you ever need to. We kind of found this corner over here that looks like a good spot. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it down and then we're gonna mark around it. Now an important thing to note is you probably wanna call the city or check around to make sure you're not gonna hit any underground utilities and also make sure this is okay in terms of any septic stuff with your city. But once you figure out where you wanna go, you can go ahead and mark the edges. Now this is a uh, just a kind of a piece of plastic with a lid that you can step on. And what's going to happen is we're going to bury it to ground level, so you're not going to see any of this. But we're going to we marked our square that you can see, and we're going to cut dig a hole about six inches deep, and then we're going to dig a big deep hole down the middle. So that hole down the middle is going to be down like four feet if we can get that far. So let's get started digging the square. I am out of breath, but we got that hole dug. We went down the full 48 inches. Not sure that's totally necessary, but that's the instructions call for. It is the deepest hand dug hole I think I've ever done. So what we did is we started out for that six inch deep uh, total square with just a normal shovel and a pickaxe for a couple roots. And then we used this electric auger, which I'll link a video. We have a video at the end reviewing this cheapest electric auger on Amazon, but it helped us get about another 24 inches down. And then we finished it off with an old post hole digger. You don't need all this handy, you know, tricky equipment. You can just use a normal shovel. But if you want to come on over here, you'll see that our hole goes way down there. I'm pretty sure I can see China when I look down. And we have this square that's about 18 by 18. And then we have the full hole, which at ground level comes to just over 48 inches, probably about 49. So pretty proud of that hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the doggy dually set up just right over here so you want to figure out this has a foot step so you figure out where do you want to step so it's easy to open and then you can dump your stuff right in there so we're gonna go ahead and get this set then we're gonna backfill it with some dirt and then we'll walk you through exactly how it works well we're all filled back in and you can see it opens very nicely and it goes down to our hole that goes down hello <laughs> really default so anyhow the trick to this uh system here is these waste terminator tablets that they say are non-toxic to people and pets and harmless lawns pets and plants so uh should be pretty safe but what you do is according to instructions you fill this with water and then after you fill it with water you add a couple of those tabs and the tabs contain enzymes and those enzymes help to break down all the waste that you're putting in there so they say you can add water periodically. Um, the instructions are, are, again, attached to the item. I'm not sponsored by this company, so this is my first time trying it out. But what we'll do is we'll use this for a little while, and then we'll come back in, you know, a couple months and see it, how it's been doing with the uh, smell and breaking down the waste and everything else. So you can either use it with a hose or a bucket. And we're going to go ahead and start going around the yard and seeing what we can find from old Kimba to show you how this really works. Stay tuned. We're almost done. All right, Kimba, let's go see what mess you made and dump in our new doggy dually. Come on, let's go. Okay, well, we figured out it was kind of gross to use actual dog poop. So we went ahead and used some marshmallows to demonstrate how this works. So you're gonna pick up your marshmallows 
you can use the foot step over here. And if you want to come on over, we've got it filled with water, and we're just going to dump them on in. Oh, I guess we've got some floaters. But that should be about it. Close it up, and we'll see how this works. If you like this video, be sure to hit that comment button or the subscribe, and that way you can check it out when we do an update to say how it's working. This channel is full of great how-to tips and tricks, and hopefully this trick makes it much easier to go around and clean up the yard every week as opposed to dealing with all that dog waste that we all hate dealing with. So again, appreciate you watching. This wasn't that hard of a project. It was, you know, just a lot of digging, but other than that, pretty simple. And hopefully it's a long-term solution to a problem that a lot of us have. Again, remember all these videos. If I can do it, you can too. And thanks for watching.